love the look of big coffee table books. They're just really nice and they really fill a space. But if you think about some of these books, they can cost 30 or $40. So my trick is I go to the thrift store and I look for these books. I try to find books that are in neutral colors. So I'll look for blacks, blues, grays, tans, white colors. And if they have a great subject matter, that's even better. So I'll find these great books, make sure they're hardback. Like I recently found a Pottery Barn book that was perfect. Just remove the dust jacket so you just have the hard cover. These are great. They add so much texture to your coffee table or your wall displays and they're big. And usually you can get these books between like two and $4. So a lot of times my kids will say, mom, do you have a four by six frame? Mom, do you have a five by seven frame? And I'm like, okay, well, we'll just go to the thrift store. The thrift store, you can buy these frames for a dollar. I recently needed a five by seven frame, went to the thrift store, found one for a dollar. It wasn't the color that I wanted it to be, but that was no problem. I just painted it with two coats of this nomadic desert paint. So for a dollar plus paint that you probably already have on hand, you can have a new picture frame. There's no need to go and spend full price. One of my most requested videos is to do more wall art. And while I love to create wall art, sometimes you want different prints or nice pictures. I really like to scour the thrift store for prints. Now I would say about 98% of what I see at the thrift store, I wouldn't buy unless I recreated it myself. But every once in a while, I will find a really cool print. When I was at my last thrift store, I found this print. It was $20 and I just really liked it. I thought about maybe changing the frame. I didn't know if I liked the gold frame. In the end, I left it. I may still paint it black. I haven't decided on it, but you know, I can always change that. But I love the picture exactly how it was. So don't forget to consider your thrift store when looking for prints. Now I wanted to pair this print with another print on this dresser that I had in the corner of my living room. So I already had this large frame from Ikea. It's just a white large frame, probably around $20, but I didn't have a print in it and I wanted something super neutral nothing that was gonna be too crazy so here's my next hack you're going to get a piece of fabric it can be any piece of fabric but it's a really inexpensive way to fill up a print so I went to Joann's I found this print that I really liked I grabbed a yard of it which was more than what I needed I think it was around seven dollars a yard because I got a clearance piece of fabric all you have to simply do is add it to the back you can put some tape on it to hold it in place and frame it up and that's the picture I used to complement the one I got from the thrift store. Hey guys, I'm Liz and you're watching my second DIY channel where I post daily DIY videos. You may be familiar with my main channel, Liz Fibic DIY, but I'm glad that you found me over here on my second channel. Make sure that you're subscribed so you just get notified every day when I post our daily DIY video.